Good morning again, again. This is a 1 in 70 second Caspir. So the Caspir was used by the Malagasy Armed Forces from the early 1990s as South Africa changed and UN arms embargoes were lifted. The Caspir was an excellent vehicle for its time. Well ahead of the curb, it had a V blast hull to defect mine blasts. The wheels were sacrificial. They'd just blow off and you'd stick a new one on if it hit a mine. Um, not very good against RPGs. It wasn't designed for that. It was designed to uh, keep the occupants safe from the mine blasts and IEDs. Um, so obviously the Malagasy forces in the 90s, they're doing lots of peacekeeping missions in Africa, trying to put the wheel back on. Um, trying to stop uh, wars escalating. They're also doing them uh, around the world. And um, the Caspir, this is from Butler's Printed Models. This is a PLA print. You can get them in resin. Um, the Caspir is essential for that. Now I've gone for the one with the roof hatches to give the occupants some overhead protection and just added a uh, 50 cal on there. Uh, Deco, uh, well, I've just drawn the United Nations thing on in um, paint pen. And um, yeah, the Caspir is a very good vehicle. It's actually quite big. It's got really high ground clearance. And um, the Caspirs would be used to take the infantry around. And also this is an ERC-90 Sagi F4, 90 millimeter gun. And our Caspir is a bit too heavy for rapid air transport, but the Sagi is perfect for air transport. But together you can have these in your base at your roadblocks and you can have these taking your infantry around to do their peacekeeping missions. Um, well used vehicle. Um, after they'd used them in the peacekeeping role, they also brought a load of bless box, which they use with the G6 Rhinos. Um, the bless box, it has the cab stop here and then it has a truck back. It's a five ton truck. Um, so um, the main thing that that gives is you protected mobility. So you can actually um, drive around uh, with some protection against landmines and IED threats. Take care. Bye.